Hi everybody, it's Randiger here and like always I'm here to do some comparison. These brushes are by Real Technique Salmon Nick. And this is the package which I ordered and it turned out to be fake. Now generally if you see there is not much of a problem. You see the packaging. Take a look. The printing, the barcode, and we had a numbering here as well. They tried their level best to imitate the original one. And every time I'm making the video, I have to, you know, do some blunders, and, which is that I'm unable to open it. And my video is just delaying. Sorry for the inconvenience. Finally. So, there was a number over here, and I don't know where it went. Some digits like 8, 4, and 0, I don't know what. Which I can't find right now. Ah, uh, here you go. Here you go. It's here. I'm so sorry. You know, like the genuine one. They also have a number in here. So you see, you have the numbers here and the barcode as well. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Fix. Have them too. Now here comes the real drama. You see the printing? A total mess. The RT. And the RT over here as well. The first two had normal printing. Not much of a mess. You see, the world famous brands made with shoes, bags, jewelry, whatsoever. Um, they do not do these blunders. Just look at it. What a mess. How can on earth you can expect this thing? And that too from real techniques. Look at the R. Look at the T. It's all smudged and messed up. This one as well. I'm trying to focus. Just, just see to it. And then... Here we have the brush. If you look at these, I don't know if I'll be able to capture it or not in the camera, but with the bare eye, I can, you know, relate to it. These are a bit too shiny. They're synthetic and they are a bit too shiny in comparison with the genuine ones. The genuine ones are drab. Um, you see just compare them the copy makers have tried their level best to make it like the real one I think they've done a great job but you know like always copy makers make some blunders and from where and that's the point from where they get you know caught the black part it's a bit shinier and this brown part it's not that shiny now last but not the least if you top a little where i didn't have the same uh you know packaging for comparison but here we have this tiny mini just do the comparison you see massive massive difference in the printing that's the biggest blender they could do i mean just look at it very precise very fine shiny plastic you look at the gloss and look at their packaging yes it's glossy not as glossy as this one and if you compare look at this i mean all pixelated this is all pixelated this picture is pixelated and the pixels are just bursting and making it the uh, making the printing unclear look at this it's not pixelated it's not bursting and you know if you compare both of them you know when you zoom and you used to zoom in things in you know in the 90s and um, in the computer in the microsoft you used to get mini blocks i can see the uh blocks I'm saying blocks is 
sorry I meant blocks little you know um, mini blocks of pixels and then look at this model I'm not sure if I'm yes now I'm able to focus very fine blocks everywhere you know it, um, once they would have zoomed in the entire pixels must have got destroyed and this is how the printing turned out to be and this is how the packaging turned out to be whereas if you look over here take a look at the model no single block anywhere not highly pixelated at all so here we had this comparison um rest is all fine you know if you come over here they made a they tried to do a good copy the body was nice and fine this is the genuine one they tried to replicate the genuine one mm, they did their effort they did their part but you know at the end of the day genuine thing is genuine fake is fake and you know the saddest part is if someone's selling the fake item equivalent to the price of the genuine one i mean that's that's the whole crap you know and you you shouldn't do that to people to innocent people i think it's totally inhuman anyways if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more comparisons when it comes to branded items and copy makers trying to copy the branded stuff. You see, the C half written, half rubbed. That wasn't much of a problem. It can happen with the genuine one as well, but I mean, this was not on. Anyways, I think, I think I have not missed anything and I've captured everything because every time when I, you know, get done with the video, I recall, oh, I missed this and I missed that point. But today I think for now, I'm all set. Thank you very much.